Hello legends, and today is the day that Ipswich Town have announced their new home and away shirts, and it's also the day that I announced the winner of the signed shirt at the end of the video. Hello my legends, it's your boy Link, and today Ipswich Town have announced the new shirts, and I'm going to be honest, I'm a little bit underwhelmed. I really like this shirt last year. I didn't buy it, and I wish I did. And it's now not for sale on the website. It was reduced to £25, and I stupidly went, no, I'm going to wait until the new shirt comes out, because they'll reduce it again. Um, that was literally yesterday I made that decision. And it's gone from the website, so hopefully I might have one in the store. Um, the newest shirts have run out, so there is a promotion, sort of playoffs season-inspired shirts. So we've got a blue one with a white-ish sleeve. I prefer an all white sleeve once the sleeve goes white. Like, this is just like a stripe. I think it looks better on than it looks on a hanger, but it's not great. Also, it's got like an umbro pattern, like a traditional umbro pattern, which some people might like that, but I'm not the biggest fan of umbro to start with, you know, which is why I'm still repping the, the Adidas Sipswich Town shirts quite a lot. Um, so it's a little bit lackluster. And then they've brought this orange number, which looks cool. I like how it's um like orange and navy instead of being orange and black. I think that's a cool way to keep it blue, keep it Ipswich. But just not great, is it? It's not it's one of the ones where they might look better in person and um hopefully we're gonna head down to the club store and have a little look and see if they look better in person. Maybe pick up whichever one I prefer in person, but if not if they have this shirt from last year, we're going to pick that up because it's just better. Before I do anything now, we have to feed this little body. Don't we, eh? I'm purring now, aren't we? We are now on the way to Planet Blue to have a look at the shirts. Um, like I said, I'm going to go look in person. I had planned to buy one today, so I might pick one up. I'm not certain because I'm a bit mm on them. I'm not in love with either of them, like I say. Um, I want to see them in person. I think they're ones, like a lot of people online are saying they look better in person. So let's go have a look at them in person. Um, also, Ipswich has played their first pre-season friendly against Felix though, and won 6 nil. Ladapo scored twice, my boy Fred. And, um, yeah, we don't need a sign of striker. We've got Freddy Ladapo, just play him. But I'm, I'm like, a bit apprehensive about this because I, I just don't know how much I like them. Like, I think there's a problem in football shirts nowadays where they're always trying to replicate past shirts. Like, they don't just come up with a new cool shirt, which is what Ipswich did last year, and it was so good. That home shirt was so good last year. And yeah, like this year, they're like, oh yeah, let's just let's just try and make a modern version of two old shirts. And I'm the biggest fan of it. And like Liverpool have done it with their away shirt this year, so I'm not just criticising Ipswich, or I'm not even just criticising Umbro for it. Like Nike are guilty of it as well. And I've, I'm sure you can find plenty of times that Adidas has done it as well. Um, like with that Arsenal kit, actually, yeah, the one celebrating the Invincibles uh, with all the gold trim, which they thought was going to have gold Premier League badges on, but Man City won the league. So yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. And. Um, I don't know, we'll go look at the shirts in person and then decide if we're gonna pick them up from there. It might be a case if I don't pick them up today and then I buy them when they're on sale later in the year. That's an option as well. Also, people talking about the size and Umbro stuff fits really small. I wear 4XL in Umbro, but I wear like 2XL or 3XL in Adidas and Nike. So that just gives you an idea of the size. And apparently the size of this kit this year is very similar to last year. There's like a centimeter in it. So there you go for the size and then I'm wondering. Let's go check them out. Also, it looks like Liverpool are going to sign Sobersly. I think I've pronounced that correctly. And um, I'm pretty happy about it. If I didn't expect us to get him. Um, it's sort of one that's come out of nowhere. Um, it's not done yet. He's going for his, he's in Liverpool now. He's going for the medical. Uh, we did talk about that on my stream last night, which, you know, if you don't know, we stream FIFA on my channel. So subscribe, get your notifications on, you come and hang out live and talk football, talk FIFA. And, um, but yeah, Sobersly. 60 million, I'll take it. One last thing I want to mention before I get there, and then I promise we'll go look at the shirts. Um, is the shirt is 55 pound 
before you add name and number and everything this year. It was £49 last year, so it's gone up by £6, which is like, it's more than 10%. I don't know what it is exactly. Is it 11%? I don't know. But inflation's obviously high, but I don't know how I feel about it. Like last year, Ipswich had record shirt sales. You know, that extra fiver might help the club, I guess, but they are giving away, for every shirt bought in July, two pound is going to um, a motor neuron foundation that works closely with Mar Marcus Stewart, who obviously used to play for Ipswich and is a legend. So yeah, it's it's, it's strange, because they put the price up by six pound, they give two pound to charity, they're still getting four pound more. I don't know if their price is obviously going up from Umbro, I don't know that sort of things, to be honest with you. But it, it just seems a weird move when the club has been so um, passionate about how it's trying to help with the cost of living. But I don't think anyone's going crazy. Like they, they still aren't charging £75 like Liverpool. So, you know, perspective-wise, it's not that bad. Here we are, Portman Road. First time ever seeing the new shirt is this guy walking into the club shop. It looks good though, it looks good. Someone needs to get the old pressure washer up up there, don't they? Before the new season. Look at the algae up there. Crazy. So I got a free kit launch wristband. So here's the home shirt. The pattern actually looks quite nice in person. Well, I think I like this one more. Yeah. So there they both are. They got new little bears. <laughs> With the new strips, kind of cute. These new ombre balls. They've also got little bags for the new kits. And then there's towels. So yeah, more orange towels as well. But I do like this orange one, I think that's the one to go for. So yeah, there's plenty of stock. I know some people worry about getting their size and stuff, but like, there's billions of shirts in there. So I have my shirt, but I've got the orange one, but if I got it printed, I had to go pick it up like tomorrow or later in the week. You can't just get it printed now because it's too busy, which was a little bit sucky. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's not ideal. Um, like, if I'd have thought of that, I probably would have considered maybe even just ordering one online. I know you can take it back and get it printed like at a later date anyway, so I might do that. But it took the decision out of my hands of who to pick and stuff. So I've got my shirt. We'll have a look at it when I get home. So I'm home. And as you would have seen in the video, I got the orange one. It's a real nice shirt. Um, the orange pattern is nice. It's a bit more sort of subtle. Like as you look at the shirt, it looks nicer than it looked in photos in like person. Um, I love this navy blue for like the accents, like the Ipswich Town logo, the collar. They've done the three stars. I also love that they've still got the running towards adversity, which is like the club's new slogan. And um, it's just a nice shirt, I'll be honest. Super happy to have this one. Um, I wanted to get it printed. I plan to get it printed with Link Gooden, but they basically said, we can do it, but you have to wait until tomorrow to get your shirt. And I was just like, I'm not waiting a whole day. I need to go home and try the shirt on. So without any further ado, isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? I like how the sleeve in the back doesn't add the pattern. The pattern is just on the main bit of the shirt. Um, it gives me like orange sort of vibe because it's like a dotty. Like the gradient is done with dots, which is really nice to be fair. So yeah, I love the shirt. Might as well show you what else we bought before we do the, the prize given. So I've got an Ipswich Town wristband. I've got myself some socks. I've got myself some of these little trainer socks, you know. 
And then I got a pair of these hoax ITFC ones. I really wanted the hoax like ITFC cap, which I never got, but I'm happy to have the socks at least. So now moving on to the giveaway. So for those that don't know, we were doing a giveaway on the channel for a signed shirt, which I have here in all its glory. Signed by the whole squad and um, in here, it's inside a bit of cardboard to stop it from getting all bent up. Is the certificate, yeah, look at this, certificate of authenticity from Autographs and Memorabilia, um, S.A. Hill, proprietor, all signed, um, certificate number and everything. So yeah, it's got a certificate of authenticity. And here is the shirt that I'm giving away for free. And um, like I say, basically the way it worked is you subscribe to the channel, you comment on a particular video, you got entered into the draw to win this blue shirt. And I'm so happy to be able to give something back to the Ipswich fans because like the Ipswich Town fan base has really got on board with the channel and the match day vlogs. And like I say, I love Ipswich Town. I'm a Liverpool fan first and foremost, which we say all the time. But you guys have been amazing supporting the channel, watching the vlogs, hanging out, coming up and talking to me and stuff. So I wanted to give back and um, this is the best way that I could think to do it. So the winner of this is James Sibley. Now, sorry if I butchered the pronunciation. I think it's James Sibley. Um, well done for winning this, winning this shirt. Used a random comment picker and it picked him out. Um, get in touch and we'll work out how I'm going to get this beautiful signed squad shirt to you, man. Thank you for entering. And thank you everyone else that entered that didn't win. Um, I am as well, James. If you want, I'm going to chuck in one of these little kit launch wristbands because I've got a handful of them and um, I've only got two arms and I so I don't need them so yeah I'm going to throw one of these in as well just to make it something else so yeah get in touch James um, I think I have you on Twitter so that might be the best place you to get in touch and we'll talk about it if you're an Ipswich fan subscribe to the channel right now so you don't miss all the vlogs that are coming next season all the games we're going to film we're going to be going to every home game, I have a season ticket. We're going to try get this from away games. Um, if you're just a football fan in general, I'm, I have a Liverpool membership. It's so hard to get Liverpool tickets, but we will try again. And yeah, we just love football and come and love football with us. Let me know what you think of these. What do you think of these new shirts? shirts? Um, I went for the away when I didn't get the home one in the end. I went for the away when I thought it was better, the better of the two. It's the one I liked the most. Let me know what you guys think of them in the comments down below. And um, give the video a thumbs up because if you're still watching, you must have enjoyed yourself. And um, all that's left to say is I've been Link. You've been one of my legends. Thank you so much for watching this. I love you all and I'll see you all real soon. Come on, you blues. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss... Well, it's coming up real soon.